Hey everybody, me and Brew Guy here. I have another beer from the boys at Exit 12 Brewing. I'm going to have to put my reading glasses on though. There's a lot of writing on here and let's see. Conditioned four months on a blend of whole peat, major Dixon's coffee beans and Norwegian espresso aged over two months and Balconius whiskey, bar whiskey oak barrel and kegged with six ounces of flaked coconut, four ounces of sliced almonds. Damn, boys, that's a lot going on in there. Whew, that's probably why I let that one sit the longest. All right, let's get cracking. Cracking, locking. Beautiful label, too, by the way. All right, let's go. Ooh, wow. It does smell like a candy bar. I'm gonna have to get these old man glasses off in a moment. Sucks getting old, I guess. What's the alternative, right? Die young. I missed. That's because I had these. On. All right, let's get that in shot. There we go. Okay, so it. Um, I did sissy pour it. It does look like it's carbonated. Doesn't have much of a head. Oh my God! What a complex bouquet I've got there. Let's get a good shot on the. Uh, drool can <clears throat> yeah so let's get back on the uh, aroma okay funny thing oh, I almost went right up my nose Fun. god that smells good so I'm getting the espresso <laughs> I'm getting almonds I'm actually getting the almonds it's funny you mentioned the almonds or you mentioned it on the label I would have been fighting for that aroma all day long so what over you know what's more overpowering of course is the um, uh, espresso the espresso comes through quite a bit um, I think it kind of overshadows the oak because I'm not I mean, maybe a faint bit of the oak I'm getting um, molasses uh, dark fruit like maybe plums, prunes, maybe prunes. Um, that's really it. So let me recap that. I'm getting coffee, definitely like an espresso. Not like overpowering on the aroma, but it's there. You can tell it's there. I'm getting, I am getting the almonds, although I would have fought to figure what that one was. Um, I am getting some oak, but it's very subdued. Then I'm getting sort of like the dark roast aromas wafting there right around with the dark fruit plum kind of thing going on. Okay, let's go in for the taste. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I get up the, uh, 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 let's see. I get more of like the fruity prune kind of thing going on. And that's probably uh, a little bit of what was um, aged in the barrel or put in the barrel to soak into the wood and what expressed back out of the barrel with the with the uh, oak is giving that um, sort of sweet rum plum thing going on and uh, that's really balanced in the flavor with the uh, sort of that espresso coffee kind of thing going on uh, I don't get the almonds um, at all. I don't get any nutty flavor at all. Um, but it is on the aroma. My dog's looking a hot spot over there if you're picking that up in the camera. Mm. So there's absolutely no head, but there's plenty of carbonation. Um, I dare say a lot. All the adjuncts are. are just destroying any head retention. I'm, I'm picking up no off flavors. It's, it's actually quite tasty. It's unfortunate you're not going to have any more of these. I would, I would probably like to see this one again. Huh. It's a big beer. I'm actually, I'm trying to look for that. Let me put my glasses back on. Oh yeah. <clears throat> kind of missed that one. So it's 9.8%. Uh, it's a big one. 
Big beer. Um, yeah, it's a big beer. Although I don't get any alcohol heat, um, it is on the sweeter side. But it's not super thick, although it's thick enough for, uh, for it to cover that 9.8% alcohol, but not too much. I think if it was any thinner, I think the alcohol would stand out. Um, coffee is a tough one to put in there, and you guys nailed it, man. The coffee is uh, really appropriately balanced in the beer. It's ever so slight. It's not overpowering, um, and it's so easy to do that. You put espresso, uh, beans, or whatever, and all of a sudden, it's just you know sharp coffee bite, like a, uh, uh, like a shitty Starbucks coffee bean dark roasted crap, um, which I hate. I like that smooth coffee bean thing. <clears throat> um, anyway, I, I would have assumed with the espresso that you would get this, um, you know, this sharp astringency that you get with with a um, dark roasted coffee bean. I'm not getting it at all. Uh, it might be because of the gr uh, you know the great um, amount of adjuncts and also 9.8% uh, alcohol. Uh, and, and the grain bill that had to go with that. I imagine you maxed out your system. Um, fabulous beer, guys. Thank you for sending this to me. It's, it truly is an amazing beer. Also, um, the boys at Exit 12 Brewing put out um, another video uh, for the uh, 2020 Brewtubers Yeast Experiment. Uh, talks about a few things that I may have missed on my video. Cheers, and thanks for sending this beer. I'm gonna have to drink this one slowly. Thank you.